For business news videos and insights, check out the O2 Business blog by clicking the link on screen or in the description below. When you think of a Bluetooth speaker, something portable and lightweight normally springs to mind. Not so with the Zemi Aria. This thing has been designed to be a striking feature of your living room and at a hefty 7.5 kgs, you wouldn't want to be lugging this thing around anyway. Not that you have a choice. Like the Orbit Sound A70 Basil reviewed, it doesn't have a battery. Yep, this is a statement piece as much as it is audio hardware. In fact, it looks more like a bowling ball than a speaker. A really slick, spaceship-like bowling ball. So there's little surprise it's been welcomed into the Apple Store catalog. The grill is the only part of the whole speaker which is metal and it's removable. Meanwhile, the spherical body is made from a high-grade plastic which picks up a few fingerprints. Remove the fabric grill and you'll find the speaker's one large driver, as well as its two tweeters which are angled slightly inwards. The Zemi Aria's connections can be found at the back of the ball. There's a 3.5mm auxiliary input if you want to hardwire in, as well as a mini USB port. Although this can't be used for playing music from a storage device, it's only there for firmware updates and for setting up Apple AirPlay. Your wireless connection options are AirPlay, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Unless of course you're on Android, which means you can only use Bluetooth which won't give you the best possible sound. So the speaker really has been geared more towards iOS users. That is, unless you're using an HTC 10, which shocked us all by supporting AirPlay straight out of the box. As for that sound quality, the Zemi Aria sounds the best when you can crank up the volume. If you can play it loud, then it really does have a great sound. If you have to keep things quiet or even mid-range, you can probably do better for the bucks you spend on this thing. And unlike many other wireless speakers which blast out music in all directions, the Zemi Aria speaker doesn't try and fake that surround sound experience. It's also worth noting if you want to get the Zemi Aria to its loudest, you'll have to use the remote. And the design of that remote is pretty horrific if you ask me. It has three buttons but still manages to be bigger than any other remote I own. It's also brushed metal, thumbs up, but it has a cheap feeling plastic sticker sporting the Zemi logo, big thumbs down. As a result, as something you're forced to use, the remote is massively incongruous with the cost of the speaker and the rest of the user experience. Too big and it feels like an afterthought. So the Zemi Aria hasn't quite knocked this one out of the park. The connections are fair and the sound is good, although it really comes into its own if you can crank up that volume. In isolation, it's all a little bit disappointing for 500 pounds. That said, it really is one of the most striking wireless speakers available and will make a statement in your living room. If design is important to you, then it really is as good as it looks. If not, it's a little bit too pricey for me to recommend as a speaker first and a design feature second. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this review useful. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. That's how you'll stay on top of everything that we do. For business news videos and insights, check out the O2 Business blog by clicking the link on screen or in the description below.